What about a Zempec? I find it interesting because of all the impact it's having on society. And it is a very powerful tool. The problem with it is no one is being necessarily taught how to come off it. So if we look at Ozempec and how powerful the GPL-1 is, we see it does invoke an appetite switch where it mutes the appetite, dampens cravings. So we see a rapid weight loss, but that rapid weight loss is lean mass. So that comes back to the Wally picture where you can't get up because you don't have lean mass. I fear for society who doesn't have the opportunity to learn how to come off it through proper strength training, exercise modalities, and nutrition to support the weight loss that comes with those impact use. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely a brilliant tool, but we're falling on the behavior change. If we were to really teach people how to create that behavior change while they're using the tool, then they can come off it and not be afraid of putting weight back on. Would you recommend it for people that come to see you or no. ask you for your advice? No, because most of the people that come to see me have those 10 vanity pounds they want to lose. I call them vanity pounds because they're the ones that creep up and you can instigate little changes within the daily life to actually lose them and keep them off. For people who have severe obesity, they're pre-diabetic, they have other medical conditions, exercise is definitely in the too hard basket because they get breathless just getting up out of their chair. We need to lose some weight first so that we can then implement some of the adaptive changes of exercise. 